you're going to see a true Jersey-born Michelin star chef make what we call, quote unquote, unclassic paella. Take it away, Anthony. All right. Welcome to Cebu Borgata. Uh, we're going to do our take on a uh, classic paella. Uh, pretty simply, we're going to take some of this beautiful seafood we have. We have some gulf prawns, some Jersey scallops. We have a little bit of quail. We have some chorizo. We're going to go on the grill with that. Pretty simple. We just want to season this. Salt, pepper. Pretty basic. Don't be afraid of the salt. I've already started a little bit of clams and mussels, local clams. We want to get a little bit of olive oil and everything before we hit the grill. My fancy little brush. We do everything here in the restaurant over hardwood. We have fig wood and a little mesquite. It's a mix, uh, mesquite for flavor. Fig wood's very hard, so it burns very hot. Some quail. Find a little hot spot. This is just a little chorizo sausage. Also a classic in a paella. Paella is a Spanish dish. I'll put a little olive oil. I'm going to go for some fennel. Tastes like a licorice, anise, if you will. I'm going to do a little fennel. I'm going to do a good amount of garlic. Here I have pretty simple lobster broth, lobster stock, lobster bodies, onions, carrots, celery, a little white wine, some garlic. We use a little tomato paste and some water. We simmer that for roughly an hour. We strain it. We're going to add that to our pan. We're going to use this to steam our fish. We have some beautiful coho salmon just in, cubed up. So we took a filet and cubed it. We're going to get that in there. We have a little East Coast halibut. Same thing, cubed up, real simple. I popped open some local Jersey clams. Pop a few of those. We have some mussels. So once that's steamed open, I put a cover on it. I want to hold it. I want to do my risotto. This is a saffron risotto. I just want to reconstitute that with a little bit of stock. We want to make sure we don't lose anything on the grill. Move our steaks back. Boom. Check our quail. We want to get a little bit of a crispier skin on that. Our chorizo is just about there. All we want to do is warm the risotto. You can par cook it at home. Uh, simple, start with a little bit of onions and olive oil. Cook your rice in that. Keep adding stock to it till the rice gets tender. Take it off the stove, let it get cool. And then when you're ready to finish your paella, a little bit more stock. Bring it back up, ready to go. Um, all I need to do really much is grab a plate. We have what classically looks like it's called a tagine. Dishes can be cooked in this completely, sort of like a casserole with a lid. We're going to do our risotto on the bottom. Now, all I want to do to finish my risotto, I have a little bit of grape tomatoes. And I want a few pieces of butter, just for richness. Stir that in. Bring that right to the pan. I want to chop a little bit of herbs real quick. I'm not a big fan of chopping ahead of time. They lose a lot of flavor as they sit. What I have is a chervil. Tastes like fennel. And I just have a little bit of fresh flat parsley or Italian parsley. Not really a big fan of the curly. The curly doesn't taste like anything. It just looks nice. And you don't want to murder it. You don't want to chop it up too bad. You just want to get it kind of loose. They just kind of get the oils going in the herbs, release the perfume. We're going to pop that in our risotto. Then 
we can go right to the plate. Risotto. This dish on a busy night for us is probably ordered by maybe one out of every four guests. So we sell an awful lot of it. People really enjoy it. It's bountiful. It's fresh. The majority of the ingredients are local. We got our clams in there, a couple mussels. Warm our broth. Go after our chorizo. Get a couple nice pieces of chorizo in there. Nice prawns. Really nice piece of grilled quail. It's beautiful. See if we can't grab this scallop with my little tweezers. Put a scallop on there. Another beautiful scallop. Right on top. Grab a spoon. Take all that good juice. All this nice poached fish. Just a couple pieces scattered around. Halibut, salmon, a little bit of that fennel. Then just give it a nice bath of the broth. Take some of the same herbs we chopped. Just kind of spread that over. Always like a little lemon on my fish. Give it a little fresh squeeze of lemon. And some nice extra virgin olive oil. We pop the lid on there. Let it get nice and warm inside and we send them out to the table. So, there you have it, Sea Blue Paella. Uh, again, I'm uh, Anthony Amoroso, the executive chef, Sea Blue, Borgata, Atlantic City. Uh, welcome. And uh, this is our sort of quote unquote classic Sea Blue Paella.